Alwyn. Alwyn? everyone it's your girl Jay and today I'm here with another unhaul video I have quite a few books that I keep in my little rainbow box that I'm sending off to the thrift store so I thought I'd share them with you before I did that so without further ado let us get started <sighs> So a lot of these books are actually ones that I have duplicate copies of, so I don't need two copies of the same book. So they're going to the thrift store. The first one is Flame of the Mist by Renee Adahe. I had two copies of this from the box sale. I didn't realize that I picked up two of them because I went two separate times and didn't unbox them on my channel for like months and months and months, so I do copies. This one's obviously a little bit um, messed up, so I kept the one that was less damaged. Next is yeah. Bad Girls with Perfect Faces by Lynn Weingarten. The other copy is actually like right down there. Um, I had two copies and this one was more bent than the other one, so we kept the other one. Next is The Adjustment by Suzanne Young. This is the fifth book in the program series. I had two of them in the box again and one was hardcover, one was paperback, and the rest of my copies are all hardcovers, so I figured I should probably keep the hardcover so they match. Next is Rebel of the Sands by Alan Hamilton. This is like the really old cover of it, or it's like the UK cover, I'm not really sure, or maybe it's the US one and the like blue and gold one is the UK cover. I don't know, but I got a copy of the blue and gold one, which I like a lot better than this cover. So this one's going to the thrift store. Next is The Safest Lies by Megan Miranda. I actually recently read this book. I gave it a three out of five stars. I unhauled it and then I unboxed all those boxes. And lo and behold, this one was in there. So I have already read it. I don't need to read it again. I already got rid of a copy, getting rid of this copy too, because I didn't like it that much. Next is You Don't Know My Name by Kristen Orlando. This is another one. I had two copies of it. I kept the one that was less damaged. Like literally the only damage is it has a little like rip right there. The other one didn't have anything. So we kept the other one. Next is All the Truth That's In Me by Julie Berry. And I read this book back in like 2016, but it had a different cover. So I picked this one up not realizing that it was the exact same book. I really didn't like it. I gave it like a 2 or 2.5 out of 5 stars. But it was a different cover so I didn't realize and then I looked it up on Goodreads and I was like, I have read this. So I don't want it. Just going to the thrift store. Next is the 38 Simple All Natural Recipes for Healthy Skin Beauty Mask Make Your Own thingamajigger book that Macmillan sent me a couple months ago. I made one of them. It was like a fun time, but I'm probably not going to go out of my way to make more of them, so I don't need the book. And then the final book that I have, I feel like a lot of people are going to be surprised, but there's a good reason for it. It is Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor. I picked up a hard copy version of this book because the other two books in the series that I own are hardcover, so I want them all to match because they look really weird on my shelf because this is so much shorter than the other one so it like makes a like castle wall kind of thing and it just bothers me looking at it so now they all match and I'm a lot happier. Alright everybody so that was my unhaul for this time around. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these books, what you thought of them, all that jazz and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!